Well, I can't believe I'm going to try this. I actually feel slightly embarrassed. I'm afraid somebody's going to show up at the range here and see this set up <laughs> and wonder what's wrong with me. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem possible to me. It seems like I could probably uh, spend about 500 rounds of ammo in a month trying this uh, Plinkster. I have no idea how you did it, but uh, I'll show you the setup. I got it taped up so I don't accidentally cheat. And uh, this is my golf ball. It's slightly less than four feet off the ground, as instructed. I got my Smith & Wesson 41, but before I go to that one, that's a 22 rimfire, I'm going to use my SIG P226. Oh, man. I don't know if you saw it. It went past the berm. Now I'm going to try the same thing with the with the rimfire, the Smith & Wesson Model 41. Man. I moved that stuff back further. Right now the board is at 25 yards. And I'll be shooting my golf ball from 20 feet. Oh, man. Oh, if that thing was just a little bit further back. I mean, if it was that much further back, I think it would have dropped right in. Oh. Oh. oh, man. glory there. I can already tell you how many feet away it is. Two. One. Two. This was brutal beyond belief. Well, thanks for hosting the challenge, 22 Plankster. Appreciate it. It was fun. The two words that come to mind for this challenge are brutal and heartbreaking. 22 Plankster, you're the master.